Welcome on back to Weimark. We're now in September. In last episode, we harvested our fields for the first time. We produced some seed through the seed production. Plus, we made a ton of bales and sold them. Now, with all that said, let's get to farming. We're going to start off the month by spreading some lime. I hopped in the Case Titan floater and got it filled up. Once we are full of lime, I headed over to field two. This was the durum wheat field we harvested last episode. With one load spread out on the field, it was time to reload and finish it off. And just like that, the liming is done. Now time to switch over to the 9RX and get the cultivator. My plan for this field is to let it sit for the winter and then plant sunflowers in here in the spring. Since it's such a square field, it's a lot easier to use the planter in here than it is the big air cart. The 9RX makes light work of this cultivator. That job's complete, we'll go park it up and get into the 8RX and head over to the store to pick up our cedar. I've decided to go with quite the big Borgo drill and I can't wait to use this thing. Once back at the farm, we switched over to the tractor that can actually pull and operate this kit. I pulled the air seeder over to the corner of field two and got it filled up with seed thanks to Jimmy Sim. We traded seats and I went over and got the fertilizer. Once the seed cart was full of fertilizer, I kicked Jimmy out of the cab of the 9RX and he went and got the spreader. While he was grabbing that, I got into position to start going down the field. A short time later, it was finally time to start seeding in some more durum wheat. I'm really 
really glad at this point I had Jimmy Sims help as I was catching up fast. Don't worry, I'll go over the headlines later and just ignore this strip of shame down the field from Harvest. I was having such a fun time running this massive drill, I thought Jimmy should have a shot at trying it out as well. So we switched jobs halfway through the field. Once I was done with the lime spreading, I hopped in the 9RX and rode along with Jimmy Sim as we finished off the field. A few minutes later, the field was all seated and it was time to head back to the shop with the spreader. Since we're getting quite low on money, I thought it was an appropriate time to sell off some of the durum wheat we harvested from episode 1. I filled up one trailer load and headed off to the grain elevator. Once we emptied out the truck, it was time to call the train. I hopped out and walked over to the track. While waiting for the train, I saw a little clue on the wall. It said something about the gas station and getting a postcard. Now with a healthy bank balance of over 50 grand, I headed to the truck and drove over to that gas station to see what I could find. I found two messages on the postcard rack. The first one told me to go back where I started, and the second one said, did I check all of the doors around the main farm? With those messages in mind, I headed back to the shop thinking about where to look. I parked up the truck and hopped out and saw a door and immediately realized I probably found the collectible. The next job on the farm was rolling, and I know not everyone loves this job, but I find it very satisfying. But luckily for you guys, you won't have to watch much because Jimmy Sim already did half the feel. Thanks, bud. back in the yard and disconnected from the tractor, I decided it was time to pick up a contract. I decided on field 22, it's a sorghum field and we'll use some of the leftovers to feed chickens in the future. we arrived at the field with the combine, I realized this field is really big and it's going to take some time. A 
minutes later, the combine was full and it was time to get the auger wagon. As I went around, I was thinking about what we should do next. And I was looking at these weird shaped fields and thinking we should probably buy those and plow them together. When it was time to unload the combine once again, I purchased those fields. Since the auger wagon was nearly full, I hopped in the semi and brought it over to the field. With more than a semi load on the wagon, I emptied it and headed over to the cell point. I must say the map creators did a great job with the little downtown section. This is awesome. With the first of many loads delivered to the cell point, it was time to head back to the field. At this point, I thought it'd be a good idea to hire an AI worker to do the harvester as I grain carded. A little first person truck driving to change things up a bit. For those that don't know, there's a treasure hunt on this map and it leads you to one collectible worth a million dollars. To be honest, I was a little disappointed because I didn't get to follow the clues exactly how intended. But on the plus side, we wouldn't have to worry about money for a while now. Later, we are finally at the end of the field. We'll get all the grain into the trailers and drive all the equipment back to the yard. The combine was the first piece of kit back to the yard and I thought I would do my friend Augsy proud and give this thing a well-deserved bath. With the contract all set and done, we ended up getting around 30,000 liters of sorghum. I ran those through the grain leg and then parked up the truck once again. I was in a bit of a cleaning mood and remembered that the roller needed some spraying off as well as the air cart, so I did that with the 8R. I wasn't really sure where to put everything in the yard, so I parked a few things out in the open. It's not winter time yet, so nothing to worry about in my opinion. I went around the yard and closed all the doors and got ready to head home for the night. Thanks for watching everyone, I hope you enjoyed and we'll see you next time.